How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today I get to show you my new toy, which is this beautiful scythe. Check it out. The Blossoming Blade. Check it out. Has the pink flowers and leaves, the pink blade, the, the wooden handle, and then a pink little spike down at the end. This is a time-limited exclusive scythe skin that you can only get as part of the Spring Championship 2021 pack, which is on Steam for, I think, $8. I don't remember the price, and I don't know if you can get this pack on consoles. So if anybody who plays on consoles, if you could let me know in the comments, can you get the Spring 2021 Championship pack? Uh, that would be great to know, because not only do you get the scythe skin, you get 300 mammoth coins to spend how you please, and you get the Spring Championship Avatar, which I have equipped uh, currently. The Spring Shard 2021. I actually have some extra codes for this avatar as well that I'll be giving out in future videos, so definitely be on the lookout for those codes in the comments. But yeah, so we're going to be dedicating this video to this Scythe skin. We're going to play different Scythe Legends. We'll start it out with Nyx. And we'll move along to some other Scythe Legend. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And by the way, if you do purchase this uh, pack, it goes towards supporting Brawlhalla Esports. So, if you want to support Brawlhalla Esports uh, financially, I guess, then buying the pack is the best way to do that. They usually come out with these packs uh, pretty much for every season of tournaments. So, spring, summer... Winter, that kind of thing, BCX. All right, here we go. Going against a Sentinel for our first match. I hardly ever go against Sentinel, so it's cool to see. We will get some damage here with these blasters and then we will switch over to our scythe because I haven't really had an opportunity to even use this scythe yet. Weapon won't spawn. Oh man. Right in my face, not a problem. Alright, he got first stock, not a problem. A lot of people tend to panic if you lose the first stock, especially if like you lost in a really bad way, like you just got demolished. Don't panic! A lot of people start giving up after they- or they start fighting more poorly after they get a stock because they feel like they already won. You know, if you- if you get the first stock, good. Don't- don't let up off the gas. But if it happens to where you lose the first stock, also don't let up off the gas. Bye bye. Ooh, Scythe off stage is probably just as dangerous as Hammer off stage. Have to be very careful with those. Throwing out a lot of signatures right here, which is good for me because it leaves him wide open. Bye bye, GG. No, we didn't get the GG, but pretty close. slap we got a whole nother stock here boys so I ain't too worried about losing this game 
He's more worried about camping the weapon than he is about actually killing me. Like, be aggressive. Don't worry about the weapon so much. Get off of me, though. GG, GG, he made it kind of longer than it needed to be. He didn't want to die, but we got the win. GG, dude, GG. All right, um, let's go ahead. The best part about my play style, I think, is that I'm very patient. If you want to play a long, drawn-out game where you're running away the whole time and you only try to attack when I'm, like, leave an opening, that's fine. You know, I'll adjust my play style and I will just, I will play as long as you want because I could play that same game too, you know? I can wait until you make a mistake all day. Uh, I don't like to play that way. I think it's uh, boring, you know. I don't. I don't want to say. I don't want to try to discredit any kind of play style. Like, if if you want to play that way, that's fine. If you want to play very aggressive, that's fine. If you want to play defensively, that's fine. I'm not trying to criticize anybody's play style. I'm just saying, it won't work on me. <laughs> I. <laughs> I've played this game too long. I've seen any kind of play style. And I'm trying to give you guys advice as well because I know for a lot of people that kind of play style is the most frustrating when somebody is really patient and they just will never hardly engage you. Or like, you know, they just, they're very passive, whatever the case may be. And honestly, you just gotta out passive the passive player sometimes. Beat them at their own game. Kind of forgot who I was playing there for a second. So we're playing as Artemis, and she looks incredible with these Gold Forge colors. If I say so myself. Oh man, if he would have done a neutral air or anything, probably would have hit me. Probably would have got back on stage. That's all right. Look how beautiful the scythe looks. Absolutely gorgeous scythe. Put down the bomb, sir. Put down. The bomb. Trying to get me with one of those cigs because he knows it's only going to take one. Ah, I tried to dash throw, but I just dashed. <laughs> Didn't throw, so I just got hit. Oh, oh. Calculated. Woo, baby! He's trying to like read me, and then like I'm just reading him. You have to outread the reads, too. Anybody can do it, takes practice. Oh, it's be trying to think what they're trying to do and stay one step ahead. Drop the bomb, sir. GG, GG, GG. Well played, dude. Well played. I respect the fact that he picked cross. Because most people don't play cross. You know what I mean? I respect it. I respect it a lot. Alright, um, we've only played two games, so let's play at least one or two more here. Um, you know what? Let's play Mirage. I haven't played Mirage in forever. Where is she? Mirage, the very first Scythe Legend, and I hardly ever play her. Um, let's go esports colors this time. I'm going to keep using the Blossoming Blade so you guys can see what it looks like, um, but let's pair it with a equally rare spear. 
I have one in mind. I just have to remember where it is, what it's called. This one right here, Spear of Wisdom. This is a rare spear with a rare sight. Check it out. Have you guys seen this spear? This was a viewership reward track reward item uh, last year. Pretty cool looking weapon. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about every time I say viewership rewards, twitch.tv slash Brahala. If you watch their dev streams and their uh, esports streams, you can earn skins, avatars, esports colors, all this good stuff for free. Get off of my stage, Koji! Do the sight strings! Mirage is pretty fun, man. I forgot how good she is. And I haven't played her in so long. Best part about Mirage is she's actually the strongest, strongest, <laughs> strongest scythe legend in the game. I just want to show this spear a little bit too. Oh my goodness, he gave up! No! Never give up on your dreams! <laughs> GG dude, GG. Wow, Mirage. OP, I guess. Alright, uh, let's just do at least one more game, and I think I'll finish it. Oh, you know what? I usually play Fate. Let's go Volkov this time. Let's go Rocker Volkov with the Gala Colors. The... The Crystal Whip Axe, and of course, the Blossoming Blade. If I can find it... Oh, there it is. I went past it. <laughs> Alright, Volkov has some amazing signatures too. I have to remember how to use them though. Going against a Bodvar, x dreaded Wolf. I'm pretty sure I've fought this guy before. It seems like he's a pretty good, pretty good player. Alright, so Volkov, Volkov, I have to remember. Check out the Axe too. I don't really want to use the axe. I just want to focus on the scythe, but we're going to have to do what we got to do, you know what I mean? Let's get that scythe. Okay, the music is insanely loud for some reason. Get off of my stage! Woo! Ow, ow, ow. Get off of my stage, Bodvar. We got a big lead on him though, so I'm not too worried about losing this game. 
No, the down air scoop <laughs> scooped me up and sent me flying. All right, I turned the music up just a tiny bit. Oh, be careful about those dash jumps. Like they are predictable. I use them a lot too, these little quick jumps. But you gotta change up your style. Oh, that neutral sig, I love it. No! Oof, got him right in the face with that axe. All right, you know what, that was a pretty fast game and honestly the video is still a little bit short. Let's play one more game with Fate. That way I will have played most of the Scythe Legends. I don't think I've played Mordex this video, but I really wanna play Fate because she's probably my favorite Scythe Legend even though I haven't played her this video. <laughs> All right, going against a Psycho Turtle. Gold, Brin, default skin. Never underestimate the default skin. But since skins equals wins, I should be having this game, right? A Psycho... Oh, I went right into that too. This guy's good. I told you, Psycho Turtle. Do not mess with the default Brin. And just like that, we tied up the game. All right, this time I'm going to use Scythe a little bit more. Bye bye. Oh my goodness, Scythe is too good. I used to not like Scythe, or I, I, at least I used to be very bad with it. But the more you use it, the better you'll get. It, it, it's one of those weapons that takes a lot of practice. Eventually you just start hitting strings, things start feeling good, and before you know it, you're beating people with sight that you used to lose to. And look at that, he rage quit? Are you kidding me? Well, I gotta be careful, the bot might kill me, right? Oh my gosh. The bot! The bot! Okay. GG dude, GG. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I just really wanted to show you my new toy, the, <laughs> the Blossoming Blade. Let me know what you guys think of it in the uh, comments below. And um, yeah, let me know which color you thought of it looked the best. I think Skyforge looks good. Um, if you want to see what it looks like in every single color, just go to the main menu, go to Image Render Tool, go to Weapon, Scythe, and then you can find it right here. You can look at it in every single color. Look at that. That's a nice looking scythe skin, right? Not too bad, not too shabby. It would definitely be eye-catching if you have this skin. I don't get any money for promoting it. I just think it looks amazing. There it is in black, white. Oof, looks good, it looks really good. Anyways guys, drop a like, be sure to subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.